Hi there, welcome back to Bot Sailor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Bot Sailor's Webhook workflow feature to send any automated notifications or order update messages to your customers' WhatsApp chats through WooCommerce. In any business, customer satisfaction is very important. It leads you to a successful business. With the Webhook workflow, you can send an order update, an order cancellation, or any other notification which will make your customers feel more connected to you, which will build your customers' trust in your business or services. This trust is essential for establishing a long-term relationships. So as an example, suppose you have an online shop where you sell various items or some service. When a customer purchases an item from you, you want them to receive an order update from your shop. So normally, you'd have to write and send a message to your customers by yourself, which is very time consuming and boring task if you ask me. In this situation, Botseller's Webhook workflow comes in handy by automating the whole process. Whenever your customer purchases an item, he will get a notification from you thanks to Botseller's Webhook workflow. So let's get started. First, we have to make a message template and get WhatsApp's approval for the message template. Here's how you can do it. Go to WhatsApp section of Bot Seller Dashboard. Click on Bot Manager and scroll down to Message Template. Then scroll down to Template Variables. Here we have to create the variables that we will use in the template. So I'm gonna make three variables over here. So click on Create and the first one is Product List. Duck List. And click on Save. But remember, you can only use Alpha numeric value over here. So I'm gonna write product list. Save. Done. After that, click on create button again to create another variable. And this time I'm gonna make total price. Price. Save. Done. Again, click on create button. And this time I'm gonna write estimate delivery date. Estimate delivery date and save now refresh this page again and scroll down to message template settings here i'm gonna show how to create a message template now click on create button to create the message template for your business then a model will pop up and here you have to write the message template name since i'm going to make the message template for my e-commerce business e-commerce shop actually so I'm gonna use this message template for notifying my customers for their order update. So I'm gonna write order update template. But remember, since Botseller only accept alphanumeric value, so you have to write it in lowercase letter and there should be no space between the name, between the words. So be careful from that. Then in template category, you can select from utility or marketing or auth or OTP anything I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep it utility and write my main message body over here so I'm gonna write hi thanks for ordering from us here's your details your details so product list and here you have to give the variable so I made uh, product list just now so I'm gonna select it okay after that total price and here I have to select the total price va variable that I just made select it and after that estimate delivery date estimate delivery date now select the variable done after that just say uh, have a good day or something like that more I'd have a good day now save it and your message template is done notice that there's a button called check status this one if you click on it it will let you know your if your message template is approved by the whatsapp or not so click on it it's gonna refresh the page and it will show you if your message template is approved or not so here as you can see it's approved if it was not approved it will be uh, said denied or something like that so my message my message template is approved by whatsapp so i can use it for webhook workflow so let's go now go back to botseller dashboard 
and click on Weibo workflow in WhatsApp section over here. Now click on create button over here and give a workflow name. So I'm going to write order update flow. Then select a WhatsApp account from which your customer will receive your message. And after that, choose a message template that you just created. So I'm going to choose my message template that I created just now. Done. Now create workflow and you will get a wave of callback URL. We have to use this URL to get callbacks from our website. So copy the URL and now go to your website WooCommerce setting. Then in advanced option over here. Then scroll down to page setup options and click on Webox. Now click on add Webox. And you'll be redirected to Webhook data page. Now set up the Webhook data. So in the name field, I'm gonna write order update Webhook. In the status, I will keep it active. In the topic, I'm gonna to select order update. Yes, order updated. And in the delivery URL, I'm gonna go back to bot seller and copy the Webhook call callback URL. Copy it and paste it in delivery URL section over here. Now save the webhook and done. So we're almost done. Just a few more steps left. Now that we're done setting up webhook setting in WooCommerce, let's set up sample data for mapping. In Bot Seller, you can map your data many way as you like. You have the freedom to do anything with your data. So in this video, I'm just going to show you some example, but you can explore and try other options also if you wish. So first, we need to provide sample data for mapping. So go back to Bot Seller and click on Capture Webhook. It will capture some data from your WooCommerce store and you'll be redirected to Webhook Response Mapping page. And here's the data that you collected in the raw data section. But in order to send proper information to your customer, we need to get complete order data sample from WooCommerce store. So let's go to the store and order something from there in order to get complete sample data. So I'm gonna buy uh, something from my shop and click on this one and add to cart. This one is added view cart. Now proceed to checkout. Here, write your customer name and everything all the details and write the phone number and place an order. Now go back to Bot Seller and click on Capture Webhook again. And your sample data is here, as you can see. If it didn't work for you, then keep clicking on the Capture button again and again. It may take some time to load the data from WooCommerce store, so don't worry, just Keep on trying and if it still doesn't work, you can contact your support team anytime. Okay, now let's configure the response mapping. First, there is phone number option. So let's find phone number in raw data, raw data section. So scroll down in raw data and as you can see, the phone number is in is under billing section. So now type phone number, phone there and click on it. Sometimes you might see there's a plus sign before a phone number. WhatsApp doesn't allow the plus sign, so we need to remove the sign by using formatting option. To create a formatter option, click on the new button in the data formatters section. So click on it. Now give it a name and set an action to save the formatter. So I'm gonna write phone formatter. And set an action trim left. Here and save. Next, let's move on to the product name variable. Check in the raw data section, you'll see product details in under the lined item. So select the line item. As you can see here, line items. Here the product name is this. So select line item. Line. line items and the product name 
After that, you have to create and select a formatter for this variable. So click on New button in Data Formatter section. Now give it a name and set in action Concat List Items. And in the Glue section, write this and in String, write Name. And save the formatter. Done. Now select the formatter that you created just now. Now moving on forward. Next, that's total price variable. So select total price from the raw data. You should write total and scroll down in here. As you can see, the total price over here. Select it and create a new formatter for total price. So click on formatter data. Write total price formatter and set action to concat lift and in the glue section same as before for concat field type currency and select it and save. So up next there's delivery date variable. So I'm gonna set it up just like before. So let's set it up. Up next, you can see a new section called send messages with a delay. Well, it's basically a function that you can use if you want to set a delay for webhook messages. But I'm not going to show you how to do this in this video because I'm going to show you how to do this properly in the next video and describe everything in details. So wait for the next video, please. Then there's three more options. They're called send messages with condition, based on condition, callback APIs, and assign label. Well, guess what? I'm not going to show this in this video also because it takes time to show you all of this. And if, I, if I'm going to show you all of these three options, sorry, four options in this video, it's going to be, it's going to be a very long video. So let's wait for next video. I will show you over there. Now save the webhook and it's done. Okay. Now let's check how it works with real data. In short, we will purchase some items from our shop. And after that, we should get a WhatsApp message automatically and that's the goal so let's go check it out so at first i'm going to go back to my shop page and here here i am and i'm going to choose a product um let's see uh, okay this shirt looks great so i'm going to buy this shirt and add to cart i'm just going to buy one now view the cart after that proceed to checkout and now write your first name last name mm. Everything looks fine. Just my phone number is zero one. Okay, this this is it, and my email address is. Okay, now place an order. Hmm, it's done. Now let's go back to Bot Sailor dashboard for webhooks and this is my order upload flow so i'm going to check the report and here it says it's processing as you can see now I'll refresh the page again and go back to report it says it's completed now let's go back to whatsapp and check if it's there and as expected our order update message is here so as you can see the webhook workflow works perfectly great so now you know how to use webhook workflow and in the upcoming videos i'm going to show you more details about webhook workflow so stay tuned and until then see you